Samsung cameras tend to be the best in class for most general consumers. If you just get the base Galaxy S22 model, it should be more than enough. If you're just taking picture of food, if there's proper light in the background, you would get a good photo pretty much anywhere you snap. It also depends on the photographer as well, how they frame things and make it look good. But overall, there's a lot of fancy features that you can edit and play around with if you don't like how the photos turn out. And when in doubt, just use portrait mode. It gives it the professional look, the blurred background. Can't really go wrong with that. And Samsung cameras got a lot of cool features. You can do like the director mode that I have right here. You can record what's in front of you. And then got your head floating in the background. If you want to talk and narrate. I was on an alligator tour right here while I was recording this. So it's pretty cool. Get to go on a speedboat. Felt like they were going about 50 or 60 miles or whatever. Not exactly sure how it was, but it was pretty fast. And it was a cool experience. Get to watch some alligators. They throw marshmallow at them. You can see them run for it. Get some photos. You're lucky you might get a selfie. If not, you can just do portrait mode of the alligator or something. But I think director's mode's always been one of those cool things. Fun fact, it actually existed back in the Galaxy S4 a million years ago. They took it away and then they put it back and here we are rebranding it to director's mode. Here we got our little buddy alligator. Another fun fact, I think the majority of the alligators are actually female. Don't quote me on this even though I'm telling you it's a fun fact. But I think the tour guide told me Maybe about like 5 to 10 percent or so a male. Maybe it just might be around the swamp area, but in general, the male can make like, uh, I don't know, hundreds of babies. So they keep busy. A lot of females, alligators around, they make a bunch of babies. Whatever hatch, they turn to other alligators. Whatever don't hatch, they just eat them. Unfortunately, these guys do have small brain. They're not gonna run after you and try to kill you like you see the movies. They're actually colorblind, but if you wear white or you wave white things at them, that is definitely gonna attract them. So just avoid wearing white. Hence why they throw marshmallows at them. They just eat it because they see a white object, they go after it, and then they eat it. That is pretty much their mindset. They fight other male alligators, they are territorial, but in general, if you leave them alone, they're not going to come after you for no apparent reason, unless you happen to be in the area where they're looking for food and everything like that. But overall, pretty harmless, they're not going to come after you and fight you like in Ninja Turtles, just do your research. I actually didn't really do my research, I just listened to the tour guide, but go google it. And I do like all the camera features like they have, like the slow mo mode, the super slow mo mode. I never quite was able to master the super slow mo mode, but I do, they do have the regular slow mo mode. It's actually kind of hard to say. But anyways, now you can go back and edit like which area you want it to be slow or fast and everything like that. So. I think that's pretty cool. And if you don't want to do it on a phone, you can always download DaVinci Resolve, which is what I use to edit most of my videos or any other editing video softwares. You can speed up or slow down. It depends how in-depth you want to get with these things. But at least on the phone itself, they give you a good, neat little package and you want to go crazy. You can download apps on a phone or you can bring it to the computer. But I think in general, most consumers just point and shoot, post it on Instagram, maybe slap a filter on it and call it a day. And then the professional people, they'll go all out and do a little bit more of the editing and all that. It's a nice little tour. You get to see some alligators, enjoy the water, breeze. You ever come by New Orleans, worth checking out. Around the center, they got all the great food and everything like that. Can't really go wrong with any of the restaurants. And you want to take a break, might be worth scheduling one of these tours. They 
have tour buses come pick you up a little bit further out, but give you a little break from the city and all the eating and drinking. Fun little excursion. Even saw a dead alligator at some point, just hanging there, waiting for another alligator to come and eat them. But yeah, apparently these guys don't really have any brain. They don't know anything about sibling, brothers, conscious, or anything like that. They just know survival and food. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you guys next time.